Many thanks for staying with us. Residents of Okigwe local government area of Imo State are appealing to the government to provide infrastructure and basic amenities. Roads and bridges are in high demand for the agrarian community who are also in need of pipe-borne water. Our community report tonight looks at the challenges of the residents. It's the archetypal setting of a rural community, devoid of the trappings of a metropolis. Life goes on at a slower pace, with markets open for business in Amuro and Indiuche community in Okigwe local government area of Imo State. <laughs> local palm oil production is a mainstay of the people. But progress comes at a price. The residents of Amuro and Induuche have to make ends meet in spite of the absence of infrastructure and amenities like roads, bridges and portable water. A local palm oil producer laments the effect this has had on his production. So as the load is bad, the, the, the expenses we are making to carry it to go, go outside is almost finishing our game. But if, if the, the road is good, uh, we, can, we can make it so that we, 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 we feed our family normal. But due to bad road, we are suffering. And for a farmer, paths used as roads for motorcycles and cars leaves a lot to be desired. Transporting their farm produce to other towns for consumers. We they get many, many things. Boots, uh, palm oil, palm canal. Lantern, maize, all those things, cassava, but no road. We no get road. See the kind of road where they use, we they suffer. The thing we make us make you see us outside now, we say, we don't see this thing. We don't know they fall like that again. Now we make you see us fall. If you say they really fall now, no road. Now we make us with the big government, when they come help us. No road, no electricity. Nothing, no health center, nothing, nothing will they get for government here. And I say our people, any small thing, we go suffer, suffer, suffer. I beg, now where they beg them, where they call help us for this village here. All the bridges connecting the communities and nearby towns are either makeshift or in a state of disrepair. Portable water is hard to come by. This stream serves many purposes for the people. Given these challenges, the Imo State government indicates help is on the way. The community in question is not an exception. But the thing is that now we have a new set of uh, commissioners. The governor has tasked each commissioner to go back to your areas and find out the priority of the people. Report back to government and it will be attended to. As the people of Amuro and Indi Uche community await the changes promised by the government, it's back to the drawing board for these residents who have to make do with what they have. First Bank PLC has reiterated its commitment to the development of the agricultural value chain in the face of dwindling oil prices. At the 2017 Fiesta of Flavors, a food and beverage fair which was held in Lagos, the group head marketing and corporate communications of the bank said the fair also creates opportunities for the small and medium enterprises. It supports in the food sector to showcase their creativity as well. It's a celebration of Nigeria in a beautiful atmosphere with friends, family and children. It's the 2017 edition of Fiesta of Flavors, a world-class food and beverage fair that brings together various companies showcasing the best in local and international cuisine, cutting-edge food technology and cooking techniques.
here on this platform, a practical pizza-making session is on, under the watchful eyes of the female chef. Participants are both young and old, and they do have a good time. Beyond pizza-making, a major participant here believes Nigerian food is not just a new oil, but should be savoured and enjoyed. Um, Fiesta of Flavor is a good platform to show that not only is Nigerian food delicious, but it can also be savoured. It can, it, apart from being uh, food for sustenance, it's also food for the soul, it's food for enjoyment, it's food for, you know, everything. Food can indeed be savoured, but promoting wellness is also part of the package. You see that a lot of people eat fruits in all sorts of forms, whether raw or whatever. So if you can put all the five fruits that you need in a day, like pineapple, mango, papa, banana, all in one blend, and that will give them the, the requirement they need. Why not? And for the organizers, this show in its third year can only get better. This is an opportunity to show what Nigerians are doing in terms of, you know, we've got a farmer's market, we've got the people who are doing things like ugu chips, we've got the celebrity chefs, we've got the rising stars, we've got the street food people. So you have food from every area. For First Bank, the event reaffirms its commitment to the well-being of Nigerians through its support for the agricultural value chain in the country. What we're looking at is combining the production from the agricultural space to the SMEs who actually bring the food to us. We've been supporting this now for the last three years because we truly believe in it. In addition to that, another major fair that we have is the Agri Conference that we hold annually. The two-day food and beverage fair provides an avenue for attendees to fully experience the entertainment, art and business of food. While First Bank as the host believes the food industry as the new oil is providing jobs and fostering economic growth in Nigeria. Over a thousand jerrycans loaded with products suspected to be petrol have been recovered in a raid by the Nigerian Navy. The team also discovered different points where valves were connected by the vandals to steal this product. Based on the uh, intelligence report, um, we have been monitoring the Imache area of uh, the Atlas Group. With intelligence that uh, vendors are uh, siphoning petroleum product from the NMPC pipelines, we monitor them until we are able to get uh, urgent and actual intelligence on the activities. And for that, we were able to read them on the 14th of December. And then we got 1,330 uh, jerry can load of uh, PMS, as you can see. Uh, on sighting our uh, patrol team, the vendors all fled the area and they uh, were not able to arrest any person alongside the police. And now to the arts. The content is an exhibition by Adam and Eve, which is taking place, which is taking the concept of beautifying home space a bit further by showing unique works of art done by veteran and contemporary Nigerian artists. We see pieces done by masters such as Professor Bruce Onogwakuya and Kola De Oshinawa on Art Review tonight. <laughs> When the name Adam and Eve is mentioned, your first thought most likely would be man's origin and then household furniture. While in a way those thoughts apply to what is seen here, an art gallery showcasing the works of veteran artists considered amongst the greatest. We've got the space because this margin functional and visual art it's, it's different from being in a gallery because, one, we are not overwhelmed by the volume of what you are seeing. There is a break. You see visual art, you see functional, and then you see visual. So you have time to assimilate what you have seen. The works here are part of an exhibition tagged The Content, birthed by artists Bruce Onobrapaya, Kola De Ojinowo, Leko Onabanjo, Alex Mwokolo, Zino Rara, and Fidelis Odogo. 
spread in the different parts of this place, known to provide furnishing for every home. The works speak volumes about the nature of the human being and what it can birth. The work is about humanity, really. Um, it's about, it's, of course, what you would call a story within a story. You have the humanity, and then you have um, the conflict, you know, and you have the problems and issues that every family will have to deal with. The exhibition, featuring paintings and sculptures, attracted both collectors and art enthusiasts from the island and mainland of Lagos to savor these masterpieces. Yes, this is believed to be the first time an art exhibition of this magnitude would be held on the mainland. This place has changed the um, artistic um, thought about the mainland, completely changed. The organizers say the content is reflective of the content of your home and office. And they'd like to host this kind of exhibition again so that visitors will experience the heart of beauty that makes Adam and Eve's Garden of Eden a peaceful place. We have more goodwill messages coming in for the president's birthday. The All Progressive Congress leader, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has joined some state governors to felicitate with him as he turns 75. The Senate president and Speaker of the House of Representatives also joined in the surprise visit to the president, his wife and other family members. In their separate messages, they wish the president good health and long life. I wish him, uh, first of all, I think that he's a man who has committed his life to his nation, to this nation, and uh, I wish him greater strength as his days, so will his strength be, so will his wisdom, and so will his favor with God. So I wish him strength, I wish him uh, much, 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 much longer life. He says he's already gone three quarters or so, and I think that uh, he has several more years of service to this great nation. The best uh, that he might desire, uh, more uh, diligent service for the nation, and a commitment to our development program. That's about it. He has achieved a lot as you know, a professional in the army. Uh, he's been challenged with the security situation, the economy, and the corruption that is identifying those uh, tripod areas. Uh, the content of his, rather the message, is to give more. Not that he won't any, but the best thing is to achieve more for Nigerians. And after the celebrations today, the president will be traveling to Niger tomorrow to attend the 59th proclamation of the Republic of Niger ceremony, which takes place in Tahua. The president, alongside the presidents of Mali, Burkina Faso, Chad, Mauritania, and Rije, will participate in the independence anniversary held every year on December the 18th to commemorate the creation of the Republic of Niger. After the ceremony, the Nigerian leader will hold bilateral talks with some of his counterparts before returning to Abuja the same day. As Sierra Leone prepares for its presidential elections on March the 7th, 2018, outgoing President Ernest Bai Koroma is optimistic that the country is sure to have a peaceful election. President Koroma told journalists in Abuja that everything is being done to ensure a level playing ground for all political parties in the country. He outlined some of the steps the alone is taking to ensure the process reflects the will of the people. I've also committed myself to ensuring that um, as president, I will guarantee a level playing field and a space for all the political players in the country. Uh, yes, I have a political party, 
that I would love to succeed me, but it should be through the will of the people. And I'm sure with these two uh, imperatives, uh, we are looking forward to having a smooth transition, especially so when we have made it very clear and all of us are preparing now the, the, the ground for it. The National Electoral Commission it's uh, on course in terms of uh, the preparatory work. The other institutions and stakeholders are also on course in terms of the sensitization of uh, the voters. And um, uh, we have just dissolved parliament. Uh, the political parties are all fully engaged in the preparatory work. Uh, a good number of them have concluded their conventions and they have already chosen the flag bearers. So from the look of it, I think we are on course in uh, having a, a very peaceful transition. President of Sierra Leone, Ernest Bai Kuruma. And still ahead on the news at 10, Arsenal football legend Thierry Henry visits Lagos to participate in a special event to honor him. That's on Sports News. Stay with us. <laughs>